All right, what's good, y'all? We back at it with another video today, man. I know it's been a minute, like usual, but you know, I've been busy, especially for this type of topic. My recent pickups, I haven't done one of these in like three months, last time I checked. And it's crazy because it doesn't even feel like that time has passed by like that. For me, it feels like I did that at least just a month ago. And now that I'm looking back at all the stuff laid out right in front of me, I do have a lot of stuff that I've actually picked up. Most of it being footwear, which is surprising to me because I feel like I haven't picked up that many footwear pieces. Because I've let so much go and I still am letting stuff go. This is the stuff that I'm actually going to be keeping in my rotation for a good amount of time. Unlike the stuff that I'm selling. Before we get into that, I just wanted to say if you're new here and you enjoy the video, you know, be sure to hit that like button because it definitely helps me out a lot. Definitely push my you more on youtube you know that's what i need because i'm trying to grow and expand and if you're new here subscribe for any future videos i know it's a little dark in my room today it's been gloomy for the last two weeks already you know because we're transitioning into that fall winter weather that new jersey and new york fucking weather is crazy and it's slowly starting to pick up so a lot of the stuff that i got here is a lot of winter stuff a lot of the stuff is fucking hoodies and like jackets i know last time we started off with the shoes so you know this time around i'm just gonna start off with the clothing pieces all right so first up we got some yeezy gap hoodies the drop just happened a couple weeks ago and i ended up picking up three colorways i ended up picking up this blue one right here that you guys see right here and i also picked it up in the brown colorway third one on the way which is the black one i'm pretty sure the black one was just a pre-order these were already like already made and ready to ship out but i have no idea when that one's coming because i haven't really checked i really haven't had the time to go check for it these two got in at the same day and have become my favorite hoodie the fit on these is crazy the way they're built the structure of them is super nice it's a double layered hoodie on the bottom portion and but for some reason it's just a single layer it doesn't throw you off at all but you could just definitely feel it in the weight of the hoodie like the whole body is way heavier than the actual hood but i do like the whole like build of it for all three i went for a uh, extra small just because i looked at the size of the chart and i noticed that the best size for me would be like an extra small you know for my ideal fit and it actually worked out perfectly like i was completely right that's why i always preach to you guys that you guys gotta know your measurements because then you get the best fitting clothes in my opinion if you really want that like snugger fit or like boxy fit it already comes with a boxy fit but if you want it like even more like at the waist like truly fitting and just go one size down but if not you could always just go true to size true to size would be your safest bet if you're really not sure but yeah shout out to the go kanye man like, i'm super excited to see what he does with the next drop for the easy gap line i'm really hoping he drops some pants because i'm in need of some pants right now next up we got another hoodie from unsound rags this one is just a basic like 80s hoodie that i got about two months ago you know it's just an all red hoodie i really like the fit of it too it has that wriggling cuts which i really like it adds a little diversity in the wardrobe really what caught my attention for this hoodie was the just the front graphic i really like that far i think much else i could say about this hoodie just a really nice fitting hoodie I'm super happy that i was able to purchase this one unsound rags always has some of the best vintage stuff in my opinion you guys know that's my favorite personal site that i go for for like vintage stuff pretty much next up i'm pretty sure this is the last hoodie but we got this moma hoodie that i actually picked up at the moma store this is just your simple champion reverse wig hoodie it has the moma embroidery all over the chest it's also like a heavyweight hoodie it's a very nice quality i've never had like a champion reverse wig before until this one pretty sure i paid like 80 dollars for this one at the moma like um like whatever it's called like i think it's the moma design store i needed a gray hoodie in the wardrobe so this one just does it perfectly it has a nice light gray wash to it. this one is also a size small it has your traditional hoodie type fit and while we're on the topic of moma i might as well just show you guys this moma hat that i got at the moma store all i know is that ever since i got this one all over instagram i've seen like people wearing like, the moma hat even like in person i was like damn like, i was like what the fuck i didn't think anybody was really wearing moma hats like that until literally like two weeks after i got this the main reason i got it is because one i like the moma font i wanted another different fitting hat other than like a fitted or trucker hat that i have like already so this just adds like more diversity next up i got some sweatpants from brandy melville pretty sure these are called the anastasia sweatpants on the site i did some modifications to it though so i basically got them a little bit tailored because they were a little bit too baggy really just a little bit cut off a little bit because i was dragging the back of it i just didn't want to continue to just keep dragging it and dragging it and i added some drawstrings at the waist also got the black pair that i've worn way more than the gray pair just because like i could wear this to school or just like whenever i want to wear like an all black outfit fitting on these is super nice i know on their site it says one size tall and honestly that's actually pretty true just for my case I just, i'm not that tall in general so that's why i have to get these just slightly tailored when i say slightly tailored like literally like a little bit like, it was just bothering me so i just decided to do it overall i definitely recommend these i saw these in Kyron video a while back that's how i found out about these if not then i just wouldn't have like ever seen them at all but i like the fit i like the flare on it goes well with a lot of stuff that i have already next up for the last two like jacket outerwear pieces we got two arterix jackets this one being the adam lt these orange colorway that you guys saw in my last vlog yeah it was in my first city vlog where i 
went to RTX store and they ended up picking this one up. This one is the Gamma LT hoodie. This one I actually got from the used gear section of the RTX site. I definitely recommend you guys checking out that area of, on the site because there's a lot of steals. I got this one for like 130 shipped. Got here super quick. I actually got it like last night. I think it was like in my first like vlog that I did to New York. I tried on last year's version of this one. This one being from 2013. It's just a simple black gel jacket. Just goes with like a lot of the weather conditions that I have out here. And I've been complaining about not having a black jacket in general since like last year. I decided to finally just get that out the way. Follow this one for a steal and I knew I had to purchase it. I like the grayish kind of like navy tint that it has on the Arteryx logo and on the back like it's just a super nice jacket lightweight too. I'm not even gonna lie I expected these jackets to be a little bit warmer than what they are but they do definitely get the job done and I can easily just wear both of these now together whenever it gets super intense outside. I got both of these in a size small. You can always modify it at the waist which is something I always love about the Arteryx jackets and while we're on the topic of Arteryx I might as well just give a little shout out to this Arteryx beanie that you guys saw also in my last video simple arteric scully all right so that's pretty much it for the clothing pieces now we got to get into the actual footwear stuff first up we got we got the stussy birkenstocks got these just last month i actually had to pay resale for these it was completely my fault i could have paid literally retail for these if i literally saw these sell out in front of my eyes on the site i was like damn like do i really need those and then after like three weeks i was like damn like i really wish i would have got those so i just you know decided to go and go i only had my size I paid a little bit over retail but it is what it is I'm glad to have these in the collection i've been wearing them like crazy before i forget this is the boston pair they're super comfortable especially for this winter weather it keeps your, your toes nice and warm for the most part nothing too crazy just a sushi logo right there the quality on it is actually insane it's like suede is super crazy birkenstocks always have that high quality too definitely getting what you pay for next up we got the arizona slides they got these when it was still warm outside so i definitely got a lot of miles in it I really like the fading on it already they really came like this oh it really caught me and i always wanted like you know that jesus slide aesthetic nothing much i could say whenever i was going out on those long walks and it was super hot outside these literally carried my day because it was just super breathable comfortable I got the Yeezy boots that I also showed you guys way before. This one is just like the desert boot. These came out in 2019. Definitely a delay W for me. Long story short, I was at District 1 one day. I saw these for a steal. They're not even like my size. They're like a size 11, which is why I'm actually going to sell these and get my actual size. I did wear these out a little bit. The fitting was good. It's just the fact that this looked too big on me because it's not proportional. It's just a whole like size 11 when I'm usually like a size 10. So the size 10 is already on the way and these are going to be sold soon. Our boot that I'm still going to have in the collection just because I really like them. And I know this winter I'm going to get a lot of wear in. Them. Next up, we got the Yeezy 450. I was really fiending for these. I definitely paid resale for these on go. Honestly, to this day, it's still worth it. I've had these for at least a month and a half now. I've worn these multiple times. I've worn them out long periods of time while I'm walking miles and miles. It's they just like super comfortable, super lightweight. Can't recommend this shoe enough, especially in this colorway because it just goes with so much. Literally, just today, though, the day that I'm filming, it's like October 30th or whatever. It just announced that these are gonna be restocked in November. And I knew about that restock earlier, but I just couldn't wait because it wasn't confirmed. If you guys are definitely concerned about getting these i definitely recommend you guys get them i got these in a size 10 and honestly they fit perfect if you want to play it safe go true to size but they do run a little bit snug they're a slim shoe so if you want to play a little bit more safe i definitely say go half a size up all right so next up we got a pair of sambas that i also showed you guys before these i got a while back and i've been wearing them like very consistently i love this pair of shoes so much they go with a lot of stuff nothing much i could say just a nice like classic adidas shoe and i'm glad to have these i really wanted the margella replicas you know that price is just super hefty for these i actually need a size nine because based off on some of the reviews i saw on youtube a lot of people were saying that it fits like super long because of the, especially on the back tab there was a lot of slippage for some people so i thought about these like an air force or like on an air force one i go like a whole size down and they actually worked out perfectly so me personally i'm recommending like at least half a size down because they definitely do run a little bit big next up we got this pair of st john's but these are from 05 i got these off of kissing booth like a jacob keller like vintage site slash store that he has out in portland i saw these were up for a steal and i knew i had to get them literally my favorite dunk ever and we're talking just leather dunks from the original colorways from all the colleges this is like my favorite one overall specifically the high top pair i know the high top pair is going to be re-releasing soon but honestly i'm thinking of just staying with the low top i have basically the same shoe a while now this was my grail now for the last thing i've picked up like till now i purposely saved this one for last this is like a big boy purchase that i did like a couple months ago I, i'm pretty sure it was in june but yeah they're basically the bottega puddle boots ever since i picked these up i've worn them like a lot i got these on essence then i originally had ordered a size 42 they ended up sending me a 43 long story short the box said 42 but the interior shoe was like a 43 when i tried them on i was like you know what the sizing isn't that bad so i decided to keep them you know me guys like i'm not balling like that so i can't just be like doing this often you know every single thing i pick up i try to take good care of basically an all rubber 
shoe. I especially like to wear these with wide, like their pants. Like, hopefully you guys can see that in there, you know. So I was not gonna add this in the video because they came in a week after I recorded the initial clip. But basically, you know, I'm gonna just go through this real quick. We got the Yeezy Foam Runner. You know, this is something I really wanted for a while now. I definitely, at least for a year. Even back in 2019, he was like in Wyoming on top of that truck and the iconic clip went viral when he was like, even play basketball in these. I've been wanting those for so long. That was the original era at Colorway. And I ended up getting the sand and I got these for a steal, honestly. And they're worth every penny. Like they're so worth it to the point that I'd like, I'd buy another pair just to have if these ever get super beat, but super comfortable. And the fit kind of reminds me of the 450s where it has like, like that scoop on the back. It has like that, like, you know, that very harsh angle. So it always keeps you like kind of elevated like this, which is super fire and it's like super comfortable. Can't recommend this shoe enough. Like I've been wearing this every single day since I got it for the last week. They have not missed at all. I ended up getting these in a size nine, so which is like true to size. For most of my boots and all that go size nine depending on the shoe i'll go with a size 10 sneakers and all that i get a size 10 like my knees and all that stuff this i kind of just went true to size and i just decided to go with a size nine and if it perfectly the, the fit is just amazing recommend just go true to size and keep it safe i do have one more thing that I just got here like 20 minutes ago that i'm not gonna put in this video because i think i might put it like in its own video but i might as well just give you guys a little teaser for it you know this is something i've been talking about for a while now you know i just zoom in a little bit right there on the box that's the little teaser i'm just gonna give you guys that's the only teaser you guys are getting today you guys might know already what that is because i've been mentioning it a lot for a while especially on my um wish list video i talked about them so if you guys really want to know just check out that video hopefully a video coming soon on that I still gotta try those on. I just got those like 10, 15 minutes ago. So I haven't even tried them on. They're still in the box. But that pretty much wraps it up for this video. That's everything I picked up over the last couple of months. I really need to start doing these more often. And these type of videos take super long to make. So I'm trying to get this out for you guys as soon as possible. I still got a lot more stuff on the way. I wanted to really record this now because I didn't want to put this off any longer than it already has been. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button because that helps me a lot. Definitely push my video more on YouTube. You know, that's what I need because I'm trying to grow and expand. And if you're new here, subscribe for any future videos. Now, now, all that being said, I'ma see you guys soon. Peace. Hey, like on my chain, miss like at the watch. She wanna leave with me. I'm feeling like Roddy, I'll be the provide.